What's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, I'll be, and we we'll back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about um, every single weapon in the game. I posted this video before, but, you know, I messed it up, so I'm going to remake it, you know, and get straight into the game. Yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you're new to this um, channel or you haven't played this game yet, the link will be down below. The Discord for the game will be down below. And, you know, if you haven't subscribed, obviously subscribe. And if you want to join my Discord, there's also be the description down below. But, yeah get straight into it let's get straight into it let's get in straight into it your boy got a million cash I'm level 324 so as y'all can see that leveling guy plus reputation and money stuff it works bro it works um you know so yeah it gives a decent amount of money a decent amount of reputation a decent amount of um, levels so you know it's all in one so if y'all haven't watched that video yet my last video got me to where I'm at now so I can go ahead and you know situate yourself. But first thing is first, we're gonna start with common weapons and then we're gonna work ourselves up. <clears throat> I'm gonna edit this video, you know, as a way to say sorry to everybody. But you know, since I already know how these weapons work, for the commons, you know, not to waste y'all time, every common has the same skills. It has the blade reach, it has the spinning slash. The blade reach is what the blade reach does. So if you get a common weapon, you don't got to worry. They all literally do the same skill, bro. Nothing changes. None of that. And then you got the spinning slashes. And then we're going to go to the commons. So the commons is from here to here. And then we get into the legendaries. But these these blades right here, these are all commons. They all literally have the same, they have the same skills. Nothing different. And then on to the next weapon, a rare. So here we go. We got gravity. We have gravity um, or blade shot, and this is what the blade looks like up close. That's what it looks like. It's like this little aura, you know, little effect. And then um, gravity orb it looks like that. Blade shot looks like that. There we go. Since I'm showcasing multiple blades, I do not want to take too much time, and we're just going to go through them. Viper. That's what Viper looks like glowing so all rare weapons have their own skills just the common ones okay they're literally just common ones um forward rush viper strike that's what that's what that looks like and that's viper strike and it drops like some venom on the floor as you can see if you want perks for your weapons if you want perks for your weapon, guys, um, the only way you can do it is from getting modules. You can get common, rare, and legendary modules. The bosses drop them even better. Though only for modules you get perks. So if a weapon is like this, you get like no perks on them, all right? Just, uh, just a little clean heads up. So you need modules. You get them from killing regular NPCs. You get some commons. You got to be like super lucky, bro, if you get like a rare or a legendary from an NPC. Just like a regular... Um, NPC, but if you do, then damn, you know, luck, luck to you. But from what I've known is, if you fight like the boss Gato, um, the the plant boss that's in the in the cave, or if you fight Jogo, you know, they all give, a, they have a decent chance of giving you more. That's Earth Shatter, Whirlwind. That's what Whirlwind looks like. There we go. And if it touches somebody, it literally teleports you up and you start to slash them in the air. And then for the next move, for the next for the next blade, and then I'll let y'all know what, what blade I like and which one I'm, I'm gonna be using out of every blade in the game. So, Furious uh, Flurry, and then, there you go. And this one is like a rapier shot. You. There we go. And those are the moves. And this is what the blade looks like if you come across it. And then, last but not least, we got this blade right here. This was used in the anime. It's a little smaller than the one in the anime, but you know, it's still the one in the anime. Yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm remaking this whole entire video for you. And I'm making it way less time. You feel me? Running through this quite fast. 
So this is Impel, as you can see, like this blade will literally go into your character and then you know you just impel them to something crazy. Um this is the E move. Not the R move I mean. And then this is T. T you literally just it increases your critical chance by like a lot and then you do a whole like twenty six critical damage. Now let's get into the legendary weapons. We'll start with Depths. Harbinger. I think that's what it's called, yeah, Harbinger. And then first thing we have is flurry, um, flurry slam. We got hell strike. Fuck. I mean, I'm trying so hard not to curse, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, bro. All right, flurry. Sl can't even speak. So it looks like you can aim it as you just saw, and then this one's like a gravity field. And you know, it pushes the person down and does damage over time. It's a little insane. Um, this is the Cyber Slayer. Cyber Slayer, up close. That's what it looks like up close. It's a purple blade with like this purple aura. It's a katana. If you were interested, out of my character face says I don't care. But hey, it's the first move. It's the E move. Laser fate, lightning strike. Lightning strike is a little bit, you know, I me. Mean, Yep, you go up there and you go straight down. On Zenitsu's timing, you feel me? And then we're gonna go to Jet Black. <clears throat> Jet Black, this is what the blade looks like. You get this like um reddish aura around it. You get Splinter Slash Space Ripper. So Splinter Slash. That's what it looks like. And then space ripper, as you can tell, you like you literally rip, t like you rip into space. It looks like that. You rip into space. Um. Last but not least, this is gonna be the blades that I'm gonna be maining in this game. You know, well besides you know heavenly, whatever told you blades come out, I'm gonna be maining those instead, but. It's what they look like. Oh my god. It's what they look like. You get two of them. I think these are called dual that um curse okay, curse daggers. I was about to say dual daggers. You get curse daggers, it's what they look like. Purple with these purple like flames just shooting out of them like crazy. Yeah, looks nice. Um Just making sure two things. Make sure I'm deleting that. All right. Last but not least, so it's flash strike, and then curse chase. So this blade, you gotta that you gotta click R twice. All right, for you to use that one. You click R twice, and you do like I think you do an impact like on the first move, and then you do another one. And then the last one is the T move, which is this spinning, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I use I use that with Toji's ability to form to farm the boss now and it's pretty pretty damn good but yeah leave a like comment subscribe i'm gonna be catching you on the next video nope peace